Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and boy do I have a treat for you guys today. So, um, recently, or actually about a couple of months ago, I reviewed the Slim ROM for all the Galaxy S3s. And that was actually build 1 or 2, and now it's up to build 5. And it has some features that I decided are must have and that I need to review right away. As the latest version was just released yesterday. So, um, as I said right now, that this is for all the U.S. Galaxy S3s and the International Galaxy S3. So, all of them, basically. And, um, it, this ROM is really full of features, and I'm going to try to cover the newest ones, maybe ones that you don't see on that many other ROMs. So, uh, when you go into settings, you're going to, of course, have your separated slim ROM area for customizations. And uh, we have interface, profiles, quick, uh, quick out or quiet hours, theme, and the real dark slim. Now I'm going to start off with the real dark slim. Basically, it makes the UI darker. I've um, reviewed that a couple of times now, as a lot of AOSP ROMs have been going there. So I just want to show you that. Um, it will also theme stuff like the keyboard and the messaging app. Um, first of all, let me go back here to Slim Center. Here you could um, look at updates for the ROM. You could also donate to the developers of the ROM just to thank them for building this ROM because it's not easy to do. So, uh, some of the new features that they announced if we go into interface, you want to go into hardware keys, enable custom actions, and then for back key long press, Enable Widget View Pager. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go down to the bottom of these settings, and you'll have Widget View Pager right there. So if we open that up, here we could click Widget, uh, widget View Paper Pager, and um, you're going to start off here. Let me delete this. So you're going to start off with just this plain screen right here. Here you could click here and choose one of your favorite widgets that you use. So I'm going to go down and choose, see how about we choose a calculator, right there, we'll add a calculator, this is what it's going to look like. So let's say you're in an app and you're doing, for example, math homework and you don't want to leave that app. So now, and this will work with any widget, since we enabled it to hold the back button, we're going to hold it, and this pops up and it's a little widget right here. It says the name of the widget, and the widget is fully functional, and it works just like you want it to, except you don't even have to leave your page. So let's go into uh, Nova Settings. Let's say, oh, I don't get this problem, so I'm going to just hold, oops, let me just hold this, and there you go. Um, if we go back into Settings, You will also have the option uh, to change the style. So, uh, as you can see, I changed the colors to red and yellow just because I thought it looks a little bit better. And of course, you could also change the transparency. So, I found that a really neat feature that they added and something really cool that I haven't seen before. Um, also, this does come with Slim Pie. And, guys, if I didn't say this before, sorry, this is of course 4.2.2 ROM. So if we go into Slim Pie, you just enable some of the settings, customize it the way you like, and there are a lot of options. And then of course you choose your trigger area. I have it from down here. As you can see I enabled two layers, which is one of the options. And it works really well just like any other pie launcher. Because out of there, of course we can enable the navigation bar. We go to notification drawer and customize widgets up there, quick settings of course you could customize right here um, you can also customize the power menu for expand desktop option you could customize sound, status bar status bar is a biggie because you could add um, of course a battery icon whichever one you want and you could also change the color too of it um, there we could also customize the clock and the background style and auto hide it 
hardware keys as I showed you before we have display right here where you can customize uh, volume rocker wake, rotation touch key light duration notification light, brightness uh, CRT animation which is little TV animation when you lock it and then last but not least we get general so in general we could customize the LCD density when you click that it will give you all these choices and I mean um, this order list that you have to follow and you just go through here and you'll be able to change your DPI to like or density to tablet mode or whatever you want we can ena enable tablet dual panel mode for the settings that's when the settings are split um, we could enable um, default app grid custom carrier label low battery warning and a recent RAM bar so guys uh, that's just some of the settings you get if you go through all these settings it will take you at least 30 minutes if you want to customize it fully because there's just so many features so um, guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to go check this ROM out and donate to the developers um, because it really is hard for them to do this stuff and guys make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and yeah thanks for watching